Now, who's familiar with this following statement? Men get better with age, just like a fine California wine. Now, look, I'm sure we've all heard that expression or at least something very similar to it. And for the most part, I believe it's a pretty true statement. Our lives as men and, of course, the overall human experience is an ongoing journey with personal growth, self-discovery, and, of course, the pursuit of happiness. And we all know that society prioritizes the beauty of youth. But I believe it's equally important, if not even more important, to recognize the advantages that come with age. So the idea for today's video came from my friend Scott. Now, some of you guys might know, because I've talked about it before, about my weekly bro day that a few of my friends and I do every single week. So a couple of us get together on a weekday and basically get together and just talk about life, current events, and just sort of everything that we have going on in our lives. And we've been doing it practically every single week for probably about a year and a half now. And really it's something that I look forward to every week. So last week, Scott brought up this idea about getting better with age. So let's talk about it. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is a really big one, and it's our ability and our willingness to embrace change and view it as an opportunity for growth. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys can probably relate to the feeling as we get older of sort of getting stuck in your ways and not wanting to do or try anything new. But think about it. Your life is constant evolution and constant change. And I think that those of us that are open to new experiences and are willing to adapt to new things are going to be a lot better equipped to handle this world we live in that's changing every single day. Now, sure, we can, we can have our opinions about certain things like etched in stone, but here's a question I want to ask you. Are you willing to fall on your own sword defending those opinions? Now, maybe those opinions are outdated and maybe you don't even care, but I might challenge you to ask yourself how you developed those opinions. Are they your own opinions? Are those the opinions of your parents and that's just how you were raised? And I guess all I'm really trying to say here is that it's worth having an open mind and being flexible to change. Now, because this is primarily a style channel after all, let me just touch on a few things really quick. As an older guy, you have incredible power when it comes to the clothes that you wear. Because the fact is, most men over 40 don't dress well at all. They look like overgrown 15 year olds. So when you show up with some style, you make a positive impact, especially to women. And of course, that only matters if you're a single guy. But look, every time I see an older dude that's dressed well and has good grooming habits, I know that he gets it and I know that he cares. Style and grooming go hand in hand. And look, if you're still lucky enough at your age to still have your hair, but if you're still using cheap grocery store hair products or using that same crunchy gel that you've been using for the last 10 years, man, you owe it to yourself to try something better like the products from today's video sponsor, Bloomon. Now, truth be told, I don't make hair product videos and I probably only made like maybe three or four videos about hair over the last five years. And if I remember correctly, none of those were sponsored. I get questions all the time about my hair and whether I color it this way or how I style it and what products I use. And I've always tried to answer all those questions because it's pretty simple. I've been using the same styling products for about the last two years or so. And of course, I've tried other products, but it wasn't until the team over at Bloomon reached out and sent me like a whole assortment of the products they make that I finally found something that gives my old stuff a serious run for their money. I mean, look, the fact is that when we age, our hair can start to get a little thin. So the key is using a pre-styler like this Ascend Volume Cream. I have it in my hair right now. So you basically add this to your hair after the shower when your hair is still a little bit damp, then use a blow dryer to style it and increase the volume. You can use a brush or your fingers to kind of push your hair in the direction that you want it to go. And the great thing is that this volume cream also has a heat protection element built in. So your hair is always protected every time you blow dry it. Now, after your hair is dry, if you like a higher hold product like I do, either add the Cavalier Heavy Clay or the Fifth Sample Pomade. Both of these are high hold, low shine products with a lot of versatility. Now their products also nourish and strengthen your hair with organic oils and natural proteins and amino acids. So even if you live somewhere with really high humidity, these products are gonna be your best option to achieve that hold that you want all day. 
And like I said, I don't really talk about hair products really at all, but once I tried these, it just, it made perfect sense to make this video and introduce you guys to this brand. I highly encourage you to try the products that I use, but they also have some lower hold options for a lot of different hair types. But not only that, they have this really neat discovery styling kit that comes with five different products in smaller sizes, so you can experiment and find the exact product that works for you. Gentlemen, you've gotta go check this one out, but you've gotta go through our special link that I'm gonna leave for you guys down below in the video description, and they also gave us a discount code that's gonna get you an additional 10% off at checkout. Thank you, Bloomon, for supporting my channel and for sponsoring today's video. All right, the next thing that I wanna talk about is our emotional maturity. Because look, with age, hopefully, we develop some emotional intelligence and some emotional maturity. This is gonna help us manage our emotions and have healthier relationships with people in our lives and, and also be able to express sympathy. Emotional maturity also helps us communicate more effectively, resolve conflicts, and build stronger connections with other people. Men who get triggered easily and fly off the handle and get super loud and immediately escalate everything to a 10, these guys just don't have emotional maturity. Now, the next reason that we get better with age is our ability to maintain a positive mindset. And look, I know you guys have heard all this before, but seriously, look around and appreciate what you have because this could all be gone tomorrow. And I've talked about this before in other videos, and it's kind of a big one for me, but practice engaging in random acts of kindness. It doesn't have to be anything huge and there doesn't have to be any big production about it, but open doors for people. Buy coffee for the guy behind you in line at the Starbucks drive-thru. Because in a lot of ways, this does more for you than it does for the other person. And once you start doing it, you'll totally get it. Now, you wanna know what's really cool? The wisdom and the experience that older men are bringing to the table. Seriously, it's like having this really big, secret stash of knowledge that can blow somebody else's mind. I mean, look, man, we've been around the block a few times and we've seen some things and we've also learned a thing or two along the way. And at least in my opinion, that's pretty valuable and that's pretty awesome. I mean, let's think about it, right? Because with age comes a whole lot of life experiences. We've been through different phases of life. We've faced challenges. We've made mistakes, but yet here we are on the other side, stronger and wiser. We've learned what works, and we've learned, of course, what doesn't work, and I'm sure you've got a whole lot of stories. And here's something interesting about that. So I've been trying to increase my circle, and I've been slowly meeting different people that are in a, a different position of influence and wealth. And a lot of these guys, most all of them are very cool, but here's the thing. None of them wanna talk about what they do for a living. They wanna tell stories, and they wanna share experiences. Now, of course, there's a time and a place for talking business, but for example, the last supercar rally that I went on, the conversation about what do you do for a living, that came and went pretty fast. It was all about the stories and experiences and these crazy adventures that a lot of these guys have been on. And you realize pretty quick that it's those experiences that only time on this planet can give you that make for a life that's well lived. All right, I'm starting to get a little fired up, but if you made it this far, please let me know. But here's the thing. You don't have to wait until you're 85 years old to start embracing wisdom and experience. You can seek it out right now. Start by taking some time to listen to older men in your life and break the mold of where you thought you'd be at this point in your life and start making the most of everything you have left. So let's all give a shout out to not only each other, but to all the older men out there who bring their wisdom and their experience to the table because they're the ones who remind us that we get better with age. And also that life is a journey worth experiencing and that the lessons that we learn along the way are the real treasures. Please consider subscribing if you're not already. And as always, my friends, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I will see you in the next one.